Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video is my final track race day vlog of the season. We're heading to my favourite PB hunting ground this season, Watford, the Woodside Stadium. So it's going to be a Watford Wednesday's 1500 metre open that I've done a few times this season and some of them have been fruitful and some of them haven't. So hopefully I can end off the season with a bang before I transition back to the roads and the cross country races, which I am looking forward to, uh, but I will be sad to say goodbye to track season. So I'm going to bring you with me. We're heading off with Donald and his dad. So coach and coach's dad, DC and AC or ACDC. Um, so yeah, anyway. Let's go, my stuff's all ready, and let's go to Watford to get my final PB of the season, hopefully. Let's go. Be real. Look at the sky. Uh, Pretty cool, isn't it? Add him up. Bon Carter. So guys, I'd just like to quickly thank the sponsors of today's video, Fit Straps UK. You may have seen in a few previous videos that I've had a new colour watch strap. I've gone out with the old and in with the red, um, a lovely kind of silicone-y uh, watch strap, so much more comfortable than the one that my chorus actually comes with. And I did actually manage to get one for my mum and my coach as well, so they're rocking some nice colours. I think my mum's got navy, and DC has got a nice mint one on as well. So yeah, thank you to uh, Fitstraps UK for sponsoring this video. And if you guys want to go and get a new watch strap um, for any watches, go onto their website, they've got every watch under the sun pretty much if you want a new watch strap head onto their website you can use the link in the description and also as a coal running viewer you can get 25 percent off using the code coal 25 so thank you guys um and thank you to fit straps uk for sponsoring this video so anyway that's the video what's the pre-race snack nature valley sponsor use code jack use code jack 20 for 20 percent off Harrison, just here for the fans. They love him. They love him and his abs. The joke. All right, see, what's the pre-race snack? Velveeta. Let's see it. It's gone down like a tree. It's, it's in my mouth. <laughs> Cole, what was the pre-race snack today? It was. Mm -hmm. I don't have to pack it. What's your TV? I do have to pack it. It was these. Fourteen. Let's see what we got. It was power bar. Power bar. Power gel shots. Ooh. Oh, and also, have you spotted what's on my wrist? Oh, it's a new watch strap <laughs> from Fit Straps UK. That's Griffo. Griffle. It's got a fresh trim. Is that a fresh trim? <laughs> What's he swishing the water around his mouth like that? <laughs> Hello. Well, nice top. Cup, I'm onto that. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Yeah. This camera's really good. Why is it picking up all our good spots? He's catching up Westy's tash. <laughs> yeah, he's going to have to shave that soon. Ah. <laughs> uh. Bowley taking those supplements. Right, cold place 13. Yeah, I'm the Have you? Okay, I've got race 14 here. Race 12 at 8.54 against this guy right here. The big clash. Mr. Westy hasn't featured much on the channel before. Come on. He's, he's absolutely wham. He's on a combat. Oh, I've got it now. I've combat 15. It. Can we see the start lists? So, here we go. Here's my race. Race 13, 8.54. Zacharia Bridgeland, Cole Gibbons, Steve Corsia Smale, Taylor Newell, James Dargan. Wait, is this the last race? Uh, no, this is my race. Yeah. No, we're not the right. We're second okay. to last. B race. Sonny Mound, Oliver Weston, the GOAT, Nathan Baus, Conrad Norman, Hyder Razak. James Peck, James Price, Louis Peterson. I know Louis. Edward Whiting. Louis came up and said hello last time we were at Watford. So you're racing fans. I'm racing fans. And Wesley's fan. 
is he? Yeah. We've got a good luck message from Marshall Smith, a good friend of the channel. I thought he was your arch nemesis. That's what you used to say. He's a friend of me. He's a friend of mine. I see. That's what we call him. We've got lots of those in this industry. On, on the track, we're friends, but on the roads, we're enemies. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Look at those shades. What are these? Maybe. Are they? Let's see. Yeah. Show, show them up. Not the fake um, Sheesh! We've well, got the blue, blue shirt. Nice dirty already. Nice. Put them on. Wait, can you put them on, like, slowly? <laughs> Slow mo. Look up, yeah. and they're on. Yeah. Wow, Carl put this in. And then kind of, yeah, that's all. Put, put Vaseline. That's so what I do. That's put Vaseline do. in in the in the hole, and then put the spike in, and you'll get them out easily. All right. I hope so. Hopefully yeah, you yeah, you have no luck. I want to be in there. Chris and Joe, yeah, yeah. are they together? Barnet's looking fresh. So we're all in two races. Getting that banana in. That spike's not looking good, bro. Whatever, like 100. Right, let's do some FPL talk. Wesley, give us, give the fans a tip uh, for their their FPL teams. Um, they're strong in the defence. So defence is where you make the points. points. Clean sheets. AC, have you got a tip yeah, for the fans? You've got to be careful which defenders you select. Have a look and see who's who's playing. And people that have only got one good goalkeeper and think Liverpool are not going to concede, City aren't going to concede. And opinions on clubs outside outside the top six. What, do you think you should be using them as much as? Because I feel like that's where you make the points. Everyone's got the top six players, well, but it's your Aston Villas and your, yeah. you know, it's the it's the weird clubs. Palace, Palace is where you make your points. Yeah, or Newcastle. Who, who can park the bus? Yeah. That's why Burnley was so good a couple of years. Defenders who can park. Yeah. Play for teams FPL tips. FPL tips. Yeah. Um, Leeds players, for starters. Aronson, <laughs> big up. Um, who's been my biggest scorer so far? I think it's been De Bruyne having him as captain. He's done pretty well. Yeah, I haven't touched De Bruyne this. Yeah. Um, Zaha was a good transfer last week. Changed him last minute for Nunes. And where where are you in the league? Numero uno. Where are you in the world? Oh, I don't know where I'm in the world. You're like 90,000. It's ridiculous. Is that good? It's ridiculous, isn't it? Is that good? Isn't, top nine, isn't 90, ridiculous what? in FPL? No. They've accepted What? 90,000 90, in the world. That's ridiculous. It's... Oh, that's ridiculous. Normally you like... Even like top million is good. Yeah, top million is strong. And I haven't used my triple captain yet. <laughs> I'm top 300. See? We're going down to GR Championship. Strike of genius. Wait, gotta let it... Number one. What's your team name? Strike of Genius. Strike of Genius. And then we've got the Marine and Parade Wander in second place, which what's is supposed, number two. What's, what's supposed to be Wanderers? <laughs> I didn't fit on. Too many um, Too, Story of my life, right? Yeah. Too many words. And then all the way at the bottom, I've got to scroll for ages. DC's yeah. Blue White Army, Donald he did, Carter. He doesn't know how to get results. Look at, However, look, look at this team. My man has Sancho. Who's got Sancho? Well, <laughs> 10 points. Yeah, but... <laughs> who knew? Who, he knew. His team isn't bad either. Quick. Uh, Watford Wednesday uh, crap check. We've got the what are they called? Ufos. 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 And are they Ufos. aiding your recovery? Uh, yes. Wow. Since I haven't run in a while, but yeah, recovering. Bowley, mm -hmm. crap check. In Invincibles. Can't Rocket go wrong. Rolls, copy in. On the trend. And the ban rays. Ban rays. <laughs> ban rays from Turkey. Um, or uh, some guy at primary had Ro Roy Ban. Uh, Roy Bonds. They were good. Wait, 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 mine had Ray Burns. <laughs> We've got the Invincibles as well. Got the Invincibles. Jeez, although, look, if you zoom in, they're starting to fall apart a little bit. There's a hole forming oh, on the inside. Not very invincible. Not name. very invincible. They're not invincible. No. Nike are coming for you. <laughs> Is it in? Uh -oh. Is it going through the heart? Is it... How's the coffee, guys? Okay. How's the coffee? Is it coffee? Are you, Is it... Are you part of the coffee club? Yeah. Out of 10, out of 10. Well, they did sit next to horse. Three out of 10. How do you like it? You need to, to, to put a bit more water in to start. <laughs> oh. Then I put too much milk in. Oh. Let's get a little check. I think I've rescued the situation. It looks a decent colour. I'm not a tea drinker. I've rescued that. Oh, black. No milk? Cold, you drink coffee? Um, I, if you'd asked me two weeks ago, I would have said no. But these last two weeks, I've been drinking. Oh, what have the Luffer boys done to you? It wasn't the Luffer boys. It's his boyfriend, David Locke. Look, his boyfriend's just over there. He's not my He's got some fresh locks. No, it's um. Ben Traffic is running. Ben's a cheater. Oh, you your other boyfriend. Oh, the other bomb body. I might be able to play. Oh, that scared me. Warm up time. 
boys are going. Are we all going? Yeah. 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 I'm not ready. It's about 50 Ooh. minutes. That's good. That's perfect. Just be prepared. Yeah, Get you ready for half uh, them. Oh, you don't want to go with them? Mosquitoes everywhere. You, you want to listen to your music? 50 minutes is too much for me. So, I'm about to do my warm up. I'm going to get Jamie to pick my hype song for my warm up. Yeah. Well, I, I'm aware you're a big fan of uh, Church in the Wild by. Uh, I am. That's the one. That's, that's, that's what, what you want me to listen to? Yeah. And then after that, because it's a 15 minute warm up, Harrison. The next, uh, next song. The hype song. Oh, Westy's favourite one is uh, Stormzy. Uh, I think it's Adrenaline or something. Okay. Try and find that. Adrenaline. No, it's not coming up. Okay, don't mind. Audacity? Yes, that's the one. Audacity with yeah. the one? Yeah. Um, Harrison, what song should he listen to at the oh, end? There's a song by Eminem. I'm just trying to think what it's called. There is a um, lot of songs by Eminem. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and then my song that I'm going to add is going to be Moon Rock by Huncho Jack. Oh. Let's see the playlist. That's what I've got in here at the moment. Add him up on Spotify. This is a bit of a random playlist, but it's my running playlist. It's his running playlist. Right, you better get running. Yeah. He's off. See you in a bit, guys. That's <laughs> ah, so weird. He's got it now. Sorry, guys. Right, two miles done. Uh, four paces an hour. It's not saying the pace. Okay, never mind. Pace doesn't matter. 15 minutes. Music good? Yeah, music was very good. Uh, Westy's suggestion of Audacity by Stormzy. Um, not my sort of hype music, but... <laughs> I told him that. <laughs> yeah, we gave it a go. So, uh, well, Enjoy it. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit too... I don't know. There's not enough background music. It's more It's more rap. Which, which if you like that, that's fair. But I respect his opinion. I prefer more music. More hype from the music than, than the lyrics, but each to their own. Okay. You feel me? Yeah. So this is completely unsponsored. Got this in a random selection box. Um, I think it's even out of date. <laughs> wow. But it's a caffeine might, shot. Might be even stronger. Espresso flavour. But look at, watch this. You, you snap it in half to Ooh. open the gel. Ooh. And, and you... you... It. <laughs> really, really like That's crazy. That really like That's crazy. That really like That's crazy. That, really. that is incredible. Look at this jumper. Uh, How do you feel about re finally getting your jumper? I uh, can't believe it's happened. <laughs> now, next race, what is it for you? Uh, Great North Run. The big one. How many days? T minus? Two and a half, two and a half weeks. Two and a half two weeks. And a half weeks. Another, yeah, yeah. another week of 50 miles this week. Training going well? Okay, I've done 50 miles the last two weeks. Got 11 miles in on Sunday. Didn't, mm -hmm. feel, too, didn't feel too bad. I will be starting very close to the back though. Wow. So it should be lots of people to overtake. You'll catch Cole. May even have a paddle in the sea after. Oh, with Cole? You're gonna paddle in the sea with Andy after the Great North Run? Absolutely bloody not. <laughs> T minus about ten minutes pre race. Uh warming up. Got the lads warming up down there. Right, let's get a prediction in pre race. Oh, I put the pressure on me. I thought this was a nice pre race interview. No. Um, um, um. Um, um, Cole and Westy. Westy and Cole. I think Cole seems in a quite relaxed mood, actually. Which means? I think he could run quite well, and I think they're going to be in a race where it might be dragged out a little bit. It might not be as quick as previous races Cole's been in, so I think he'll be helped by that. I think he'll try and run it positively and try and win it. Should like, be good. Whereas the last few races, he's not quite been the time in the business end yeah his time he's running is at the end of the back of the pack, back yeah. of the field rather than from the field whereas i think today he might be near the front although there's a couple of decent under 17s in there yeah so hopefully they'll do the hard work because dargan is i think 20 seconds faster over 3k than him which is a long way and west though oh this is the one anything could happen anything could happen he could big run coming from. he could run anything from 355 to 14. I agree. Because it's what his legs are saying. Because a couple of weeks ago we did the 800 meter session rather than 1500 meter session. So, but I think if anyone can, if anyone here tonight that I've seen go sub 355 in the next couple of months, if the season's going, he's the one. So, we'll see. But I think it might be a good race between Cole and Westo. Should be um, good. I think if it comes down to the last lap and them two next to each other, I think Westo wins. Um, but hopefully they can use each other. It should be a good positive race. But I think actually, I think we could get five PBs out of five. It's a big claim. Huge. I That's think huge. we could be getting five PBs. And huge for the team. what I think we could get 
is uh, a couple more boys on the 409, so we then got five boys <laughs> because so far we've got three on the 409. So um, it would be quite funny if we get a couple more. So show we're 409 experts. So anyone out there who's regularly running 410 to 420, if you want to run 409, come to Canary Endurance. So, strides, drills, almost done. Um, got 12 minutes in my race if they stay on time. Legs are feeling like they want to sit down for a little bit, so that's exactly what I'm going to do, listen to the body. So, um, yeah, just going to sit down, change the spikes, and uh, yeah, roll the dice for one last time this track season. So, yeah. Give me one word, just one word. Determined. That's all the fans need to hear. Yeah. Look how nice Cole is. Look how nice he is. Doing things for the community. That's mate for you. Crouchy. Do that, do that after the race. Yeah. Right eh? Time to go to the start then. Who's that for? That is for each and every one of the whole army. <laughs> go on, Jack! Go on, Jack! Come on, boys. Go on, Chris. Go on, Joe. Go Go past them. Come on, boys. That's great, Lou. Pick it up a bit, Jay. Sub four pace, Lou. Let's go, Lou. Let's go, Ed. Yeah, that's trouble. Well, Go on, Lou. Come on, Lou. Come on, Westo. Cole, race. Yeah, you, you're Cole. Uh, yeah, he's right. First 1100, 1200. Spot on. But that last lap a bit hard. Um, I just didn't have anything else in the last 200. End time wise? Full flattish. Same as me. Same as me at Watford. Yeah. So, yeah, it's um, not horrific. What was this to take? I'm on slightly different training at the moment. So, when I was running my best, I was on a bit lower mileage, more quality, more speed. Next race. Look at this, it's going to close up. Right off from the boot. Ooh. So guys, we're here for coach's comments. So, uh, requested by Sophie in McDonald's. Uh, heavily requested. She was like, oh, when are we going to do the coach's debrief? Um, but we were busy eating them. We thought we'd get back on the road. So here we are with DC. What was your thoughts of the race tonight? 4 0 well, Can I first of all start off with, I'm happy you didn't do it in McDonald's. <laughs> because I almost made my way through a share box of halloumi dip, halloumi bites again, or whatever they're called. Yeah. 
and that would have been the second time in <laughs> two weeks that I've done that so it's pretty good that you didn't film that yeah um, run was good four minutes dead again yeah. so you said that means you'd run 58 59 4 401 and 402 yeah so uh, pretty consistent and it was a completely different race this time you got out you attacked it and the legs just came off a little bit at the end but I think for the last race of the season can't ask for any more you ran, you ran your average time yeah or your mean time is it mean yeah that's how it works yeah. so I think just be really happy and you've still been getting the longer runs in and um, work for Great North Run so it's now two and a half weeks till then so yeah we go forward but I just want to say well done to all the other Canterbury Endurance oh, lot nearly dropped the phone I know it's my phone as well because I've got yeah. the nicer phone yeah Um. I think all four of them, all four of us. Yeah. Five of us? Five of us, all five PB'd. Yeah. Okay, so we had a couple of 408s. Yeah. A 409. Yeah. So that's now four of them on 409, and kind of endurance. A 410. Flat. Yeah. And a Lucy, a 455. Yeah. 454. So should be going home happy, and that's the last race of the season for a couple, and then a couple going on to Gillingham in nine days time yeah but I think it's good just got to get a couple more sessions into the Great North Run now yeah exactly well good stuff thank what you what do you want to say thank you for coaches comments we'll move on to coaches coaches comments Mr AC I enjoyed the evening a lot I uh, enjoyed your race Cole yep. thought you actually ran very well for 1300 metres it's just a shame it was a 1500 metre race <laughs> yes but you look good and you were actually in competing at the front of the in the front of the race and then just at the end didn't quite didn't quite get home yeah. but i'm um, no look forward to the having easier time well doing the great north run first to first of all when, yeah you're racing each other yes yeah, so we are racing we are <laughs> racing each other Cole. i don't think probably this year i'll be getting close to you but um <laughs> maybe next year we'll see you can get me get me a coffee at south shield <laughs> but probably have an hour rest after you've finished before you go and start to do the queue yeah but no brilliant well done and right. now let's hope the queue for this bridge isn't too bad yeah it's very bad but yeah thank you andy the better half of acdc so guys i know this vlog has been super long i really hope that you're still watching um if you are you're a true coal running fan uh but no problems if not these videos um i get that the longer ones are a bit harder to watch especially when you've got such busy lives but yeah so overall i'm pretty chuffed with that it's ironic that at the start of the season the one thing i really wanted to do was break four minutes and i finished with the four flat a bit i don't know i feel like the universe has a funny way of doing things sometimes um but yeah, so that's the last track race of the season. That's it. I'm done. Track races are finished for um, 2022. So yeah, I'm a little bit disappointed, um, more than I thought I would be, but I'm happy to be returning to the roads. And I have, of course, got the Great North Run in just over two weeks' time. Whether I'm going to be um, in any decent shape for that off the back of the track season, we shall see. But anyway, guys, I hope you have enjoyed today. Um, please like, subscribe, share with your running buddies. And do let me know if you enjoy these videos where I get Jamie and um, people like Noah as well on the camera. Um, it just means I do a little bit less of the filming, but you get to see a bit more of like a perspective of me from someone else filming, if that makes sense, instead of me holding the camera right in front of my face. So anyway, I hope you have enjoyed. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.